Overnight, a large number of people with twisted bodies and stiff limbs suddenly appeared in the town, standing motionless in place. The doctors investigated and discovered a horrible truth. A policeman searching in the middle of the night was cruising aimlessly on his bicycle. At this time, he suddenly saw, in front of a man, his clamped to arms standing motionless on the side of the road. The appearance is very strange. The policeman went to check the situation. The man was not moving and was making painful noises and expressions. Maybe he was a psychopath. The police didn't take him seriously. By the next day, the man was still standing there. Soon people realized that in other parts of the city, there were also people in the same situation as the man, standing motionless with their arms crossed. The number was growing and the media dubbed these people earthbound because no one could do anything about it. In order to find out the truth about the earthbound, Dr. Lily, a psychiatrist, came to the scene. After some research, she believes that this strange phenomenon is caused by some kind of psychological factors in people, similar to demonic possession. Tom is one of the earthbinder. He has been standing under a tree every day for two weeks. Tom's mom was in tears as she watched her son in pain. Lily tries to communicate with Tom, but is met with strong resistance. However, Tom's mom mentioned that Tom's favorite dog was buried under the tree. Hearing this, Lily seemed to understand something. She quickly asked Tom if it was because he missed his dog that he was standing here. But she realized that Tom had said no. At this point, Lily finally realized that the reason why Earthbinder stood still at a certain place was because they were too nostalgic for. The reason why Earthbinder stood still was because they missed something that happened here. Then Lily rushed back to the office and was about to report the truth about Earthbinder to the leader Jack when the phone suddenly rang and asked her to go to the hospital immediately. Lily had no choice but to put off her work first. When the woman came to the hospital, she saw her mom flirting with a man. The man sees Lily come in and turns away in a hurry. It turns out that Lily's mom is a lazy person who tricked her daughter into going to the hospital just to ask for money. However, when Lily thought of her father's death, she couldn't help but blame her mom. If mom hadn't cheated on her, dad would have died of a heart attack. And now mom is living in the same hospital room where dad used to live and has the same heart attack. These facts reminded Lily of her father's death, so she left the hospital and went home. But as soon as she entered the room, she realized that there was a chill in the room and turned her head to see that the window was open. She slowly walked over to close the window when an earthbinder with arms suddenly appeared in front of her. Lily was startled, and when she looked at the earthbinder, it was her leader Jack. How did Jack turn into an earthbinder, and how did he appear in Lily's room? Remembering the reason why earthbinder was standing somewhere, Lily tried to ask Jack about his history with this room. But Jack's eyes flickered, and he didn't dare to confess. The next day, Jack was still standing there. Lily went out to investigate the earthbinder. Just outside, she saw a group of people in chemical suits carrying an earthbinder. She rushed forward to ask about the situation. It turns out that Earthbinder's body will be petrified after standing for a long time, so they can only be cleaned up as garbage. Hearing this, Lily became scared in her heart. She didn't want to see such an end. She still had hope that Earthbinder would be cured, so she rushed forward to stop those people. However, Earthbinder's arm was torn off in the middle of the tearing, and it was obvious that the person was already dead. This scene immediately made Lily panic and she rushed to Tom's place. The boy's body gradually petrified from the bottom up. The woman could only watch, but could do nothing at all. Before he died, the boy finally told the truth. When he was a child, because the dog bit him, out of anger, he killed the dog and secretly buried it under this tree. And then he felt sorry for the dog and felt very guilty. Hearing Tom's confession, Lily was very puzzled. Is it possible that earthbinders are not attached to things, but are full of guilt for things that have passed, and they are atoning for their sins? Afterwards, Lily met the Earthbinder who trafficked children, the Earthbinder who stole safes, and the Earthbinder who caused people to hang themselves. Apparently, these people became Earthbinder because they were punishing themselves. At this point, Lily completely understood that Earthbinder was out of guilt and bound themselves to the place where they did their evil deeds. At night, Lily meets an old man downstairs, thinking that Jack is standing in the room. She asks the old man about the story of her house. Only then did she learn that a woman who lived alone in this house was killed five years ago, and then the murderer absconded and has not been caught yet. Hearing this, Lily immediately frowned. See, could it be that Jack, who was tied up in the room, is the murderer of that year? Then he went back to the room. At this time, Jack is still standing there. His body slowly began to petrify. Before he died, he confessed to Lily five years ago the murder of the guilty fact. Lily was shocked when she heard it, but at that moment, she suddenly thought of something. When her mom cheated on her and her dad died of a sudden illness, wouldn't her mom also become an earthbinder? 
Thinking of this, she quickly ran to the hospital, just entered the door, only to see her mom sit up arms, crooked neck, just like an earthbinder appearance. Lily cried at once, but then her mom suddenly turned around, and it turned out to be her joke. The heartless mom didn't care about her dad's death, so she didn't feel guilty and didn't turn into an earthbinder. But Lily was just relieved when mom suddenly had a heart attack. She was about to tell Lily to call a doctor, but Lily frowned in place, because the scene in front of her was exactly the same as when dad died. Dad had blamed Lily for his mom's infidelity and had often punched and kicked him. That day, Dad suddenly had a heart attack, and Lily, who was still patient, didn't even call a doctor when she saw him in pain, which directly led to Dad's death. This is a fact that Lily has never dared to face, and she has always kept her inner guilt sealed. But now that Earthbinder is spreading across the country, Lily has to atone for her sins. She came to the hospital door, slowly raised her arms, and stood there motionless. End of movie. This is a Japanese fantasy movie, Earthbinder of the Wonderful World Story. See you next time.